I'm Helen Walker. I feel like James Corden doing a car share interview on a wet Saturday morning in Northumberland, UK. Uh, have you seen the newspapers today? Uh, the headlines. Is this the United Kingdom we love? The country that our ancestors worked hard for and fought for? Is this what we call social prescribing? The communities have to feed the children of the poor. Please hear me out till the end. There's something there for you. Well, I'm so tired of it all that I've even had to speak out myself for a sort of call to arms. Uh, not guns and hatred like America, but with arms full of love and peace and with my trumpet. You'll know already that the arts can help young people prepare for their futures and effect change. So why am I doing this interview? Well, it's a long story, but when I was a child, I was brought up to be seen and not heard, to worry about what other people thought and always to be polite. Uh, I've never really found my voice until right now. Uh, in my opinion, the problem that we have is that we don't have enough good political, compassionate leaders. Too many leaders around us have values that have swung too far towards money and not enough about people. We're running short of time too and only have a short time to reverse the damage that's already done around the world as well. Imagine a future as more money focused leaders get into power. And imagine if we had more leaders that included women, people of colour, the elderly, LGBT, working class people, the poor and the disabled. Leaders who had the right skills, uh, who really represent us um, but there's not enough yet with the right skills. So here I am, 59, a bit weary. Uh, I studied A-level physics in 1979 and learnt that Newton's third law is that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Look at the papers today. When there's bad in the world, people rise up. They help. They do what they can from a place of love, not fear. So what are the barriers for new, diverse, leaders beyond gender, sexuality, age, race, class, disability and poverty. What are the barriers to stop this future that we would like to see? Well, as an ex-Ofsted inspector, I qualified in order to help children um, improve their futures. Uh, and a school improvement advisor and primary head teacher, my compassion has always been with the children and their futures. I know that one of the barriers lies within a discriminatory set of expectations within the education system. Right, unfair advantage number one. Leadership training is not required of state educated pupils from Ofsted, yet it is a requirement of fee paying schools from the independent schools in inspection framework. As you know, many Tory party politicians, sponsors and prime ministers have been privately educated in a system which actively develops public leadership roles. Unfair advantage number two. Recently, Boris Johnson told state schools to discourage any form of activism, which is a double blow for state educated children, as activism and leadership belong to a similar skill set. Unfair advantage number three. In the Northeast, coping with COVID, schools have a priority of catch up with a huge literacy and numeracy problem. This is a triple blow for good education leaders wanting to help empower pupils for change. Unfair advantage number four. The people with the power of writing policies in education are unwilling to help. For five years I've written to Tory MPs, Tory Education Secretaries and Amanda Spielman, head of Ofsted, with no success. The response from Ofsted is broadly that, from consultation, state heads haven't asked for leadership to be included. And that leadership is already included within the broad expectation of schools and young people that that seeks to prepare them for the world of work. So there's no need to mention leadership specifically. It's a broad expectation of preparation for their futures. And thirdly, that private schools can do what they wish. So what can we do? Well, as you know, women are still traditionally the major caregivers in any family. They have the power and the opportunity to greatly influence the outcomes of their own children, but often lack support, resource or opportunity. Other givers of care include fathers, grandparents, educators, art, music and charitable organisations, anybody. Musilians and inspiring North East TV are for any caregiver of young people in any setting. 
The only criteria is that they care enough to want young people to have good futures. So what can, what can this offer? Well, number one is access to leadership training. Watch the Musilience modules on the website. Don't forget, there's a free gift at the end of this video to help because not everybody can afford the price of the modules. Number two, access to examples of inspiring leaders. Well, on the website, there's some tools and examples for you to make your own inspiring Northeast TV films yourself. Let's help inspire young people. So we'll give them the skills, help inspire them. Number three, we want to end this discrimination in the policy, so please sign the petition. So I now feel it's time to call for action using my trumpet to sisters, friends, and all the communities that I'm involved with, um, and from my own family too. So what can you do? Sign the petition. Look out for Zoom activities on musilience.com. Even though they look strange, like stories about hedgehogs and hoglets, Please sign up and tune in for more explanation. Get the free code at the end of this video to give you free access to the learning modules. If you can use any of the ideas, please do so. It will take all my time to update and modify them as we go. Please send me any videos that you make. Cascade any ideas from the modules to other groups and interested parties using Zoom with your friends. The modules start with easy music or a see storing tele telling activities for younger children and progressively demonstrate more advanced leadership, innovation, enterprise skills using the arts and all subjects. Again, this project isn't about putting men down, it's about empowering young people via their caregivers in the broadest sense. Don't forget the free gift at the end. Thank you for watching and please get in touch if I can help at all. Thank you. Bye bye.